In this project, I'm going to be building a waterproof battery box for a kayak. I'm going to be using an Invicta waterproof dive case, which has a foam interior, and I'll open that up for a second. And I'm also going to be using these waterproof three gauge set. This will charge a USB, this will read your voltage, and this will be a 12 volt power output. Then I also have a waterproof fuse and a waterproof on-off switch. So this is what the Invicta looks like inside. You can see it's got a nice foam interior, so you can cut it out and use it for whatever battery you may have. This is the circuit diagram for the battery box. On the right, I have the three circles which indicate the gauges, and I have all the negative terminals pigtailed together, as well as all the positive terminals. The negative single terminal then is hooked up to the negative terminal on the on-off switch, and the positive lead coming out from the gauges is going to go to the center post or terminal, which is the load terminal for this circuit. And then the positive terminal on the switch is going to go directly to the power source or your battery. And then the negative pigtail from the switch is going to go to the negative of the power source. I've already decided where I'm going to mount the triple gauge and the on off switch and I've marked it here on the box where I need to make my cutouts for the gauge and then I'm going to put the switch right down there where you see that black dot which is in the center of the case and I'm going to skip some of the steps just to save time for this video. This is the completed project with all the wiring and the gauges installed. I'm using a 12 volt battery as the power source and as I go in a little bit closer you can see I have my inline blade fuse for the power and the three gauges connected with the pigtails. All the connectors are marine grade waterproof. Get a little side right there. So let's go ahead and shut this and turn the switch. Have light on the switch. The USB port is lit up as well as the battery gauge. So there we have it. It's all done. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.